Hello viewers, Peter Elgar here from Brentwood, Essex, deepest, darkest England. I'm today, today going to welcome you back to my channel with a little dissertation about some flash photography, especially leading up to what is called high speed synchronised flash. Now when I started doing flash photography we had flash bulbs and I used to get these Philips Photoflux bulbs, nine pence each they were, and they have a little glass tube filled with combustible material which is magnesium wire and when you applied a voltage to it it caught fire inside that tube and burned up and that used to last for about 40th of a second and then that was okay for black and white but when you started using colour got rich, rich enough to afford a colour film <laughs> people made, made your blue bulbs which matched the colour temperature for which the colour film was balanced. It's still got inside the magnesium wire. Now that takes about one fortieth of a second to burn up. So that you've got to time the shutter of your camera so that you catch all of that flash. Otherwise the power is lost and it comes out underexposed. And that is called the correct flash synchronisation. Now you was very limited to one thirtieth of a second or slower on the cameras that I was using at Ensign Selfix at the time and you couldn't use it in bright light for filling flash or anything like that then came along electronic flash now electronic flash is not combustible material it's a gas sealed in the tube similar to what you have in Times Square New York and Piccadilly Circus in London, they're all neon tubes, aren't they? And they're all glowing, different colours. Well, the flash tube is xenon mixed with a couple of other rare gases, which when applied, you apply voltage to it, it will glow. But that glow is nothing like Piccadilly Circus. It's a, it's a quick glow, flash, flash. It's a glow of a gas. It's not a spark, it's a glow. And that is the flash. Well, you've got to time your shutter to catch that glow because it's instantaneous so you've got to have the correct fl flash synchronization so when you have a focal plane shutter like I've got my Pentax my first good shutter it had a cloth blind going across these are the, these are the blinds in the middle of the gap where the light goes onto the film so they, it zips across like that and the faster speed you have the narrower the gap and only at certain speeds of the travel is the frame fully exposed when you can use an electronic flash. So you are limited to a, a slow range of shutter speeds. And on the Pentax that I've got here, this screw thread one, it's limited to 1 60th of a second. That is the fastest shutter speed you can have where it catches the shutter fully open. Now that's the shutter fully open on brief time of course but you can see the shutter coming across horizontally, horizontally. Now as we speed up to the, as we speed up the shutter you're okay on, a, on the slower speeds because it opens and fully opens the aperture to let light through onto your film only up to 1 60th of a second does that happen there then after that if you put it to 500th of a second that slit is now narrowed and all you get is a small little tiny little bit tiny little strip of picture and the rest of it's all blank so then they invented vertically running shutters and here's a vertically running shutter which comes from top to bottom with a gap like that where your picture's taken. So I got myself an ME Super. I went with the ME Super. Here we are. Now this wonderful machine synchronises to 125th, which I thought was the bee's knees because it has a vertically running shutter. I mean, there it is. That's the vertically running shutter. Now, when we put it to 125th, 
it will catch your electronic flash and the whole of the aperture will be open. But if I put it to 250 and a 500th, all I will get is a little narrow strip of exposed picture and the rest of it will be blank. That's the trouble. Then, when I was doing press work, most of the guys had Nikons and they synchronised for 250th of a second. Because in bright light, you were shooting colour film, if 100 ASA in brilliant sun, you wanted to fill in flash for the shadows, you were working at f16 for 125th, 250th, you could work at f11 or between 11 and 8, open up the aperture a little bit, you know. But there we are. Then came along the between the lens shutter cameras, which much better synchronisation because you can use flash at all shutter speeds. And with the, if you want to do wedding on a bright sunny day, you want to balance the flash with the daylight, you need a camera which will synchronise at a 500th of a second. There we are. That is now fully open and you can see the shutter blades are now circular. So they open from the centre outwards in a circular motion. They don't sweep across the back of the film. That means you can synchronise electronic flash at any shutter speed. Wow! Wonderful! Now, what happens if you wanted to use flash bulbs. You could still use flash bulbs any shutter speed with these as well. Because you have, with the, this Rolly Flex and the Mamiya Flex, you have a means of synchronization change. You have a little lever. One has got a lightning symbol for electronic flash. And the other one is a little picture of a flash bulb. Like that. And that will start the bulb burning up to full power before the shutter moves. Now, as you don't use flash bulbs anymore, you've got to be very careful to keep that onto the little shutter uh, indication for electronic flash. Well, my friend has loaned me a super duper Canon flash, which is specially modified so that you can get high speed synchronization to a two thousandth of a second with electronic flash. When I got this Canon EOS 300V, I was looking in the instructions and there was a little symbol at the bottom in the, of all the picture thing in the viewfinder and it said high speed flash. I thought, well, what's that? Because the normal synchronisation of these Canons is 190th. I thought, what's this high speed flash? So I had a word with my mate from the camera club, join your local camera club because you make wonderful friends. He said, I use high speed flash, but you've got to have the right flash gun to do it. And this is one of them. This is a Canon Speedlight. The model number is 430EX Mark II. Now, there is another one, a 500 or something. That's the one he's loaned me anyway. And then we, sw we switch it on, marked, marked on. And on the back, you've got a little window here. And then you can have it ordinary synchronization, or you can press mode here, a little button called mode. Then you get ETTL, which is ordinary through the lens metering for your flash, but 190th of a second. Then you can have it on a manual uh, output, half power and quarter power, very fast speed, but only still at 1 90th of a second. But, there's another one here. If you press this little button here, you get a little symbol coming up in, in there. It's difficult to show you, but it means high speed flash. Now, how it works, I don't know, but it gives you a longer flash so that you can capture fast moving subjects or you can use your flash in daylight with bright sun I mustn't break it because it's not my, not my flash we we'll switch it on again switch it on I'll choose a shutter speed the back here say 500th of a second 
Now, there's no film in here, so I can open it, couldn't I? Yes. Here's a vertic vertically running shutter, so that it will synchronise at the highest speed, but funnily enough, it's only 190th, not as good as the ME Super Pentax. It should, they're not even 125th, it's 90th, but with this flash gun, it was synchronised at 500th. Here we are. I'm not going to point the flash gun at the camera, it might blind you all, but that is synchronising. I'm wondering if we can show the action of the shutter as the flash goes through. No, it's too fast. But t believe me, it works. <laughs> so, what happens is, you get a longer duration of flash, which enables it shutter to sweep down vertically and catch the duration of flash at a 500th or 1,000th or 2,000th of a second. It has to be the right flash gun to do it. So that is the one that is loaned me. It's for Speedlight 430 EX Mark II. And here's a picture I took of one of the characters in Brentwood High Street. Old Ken, he poses for us. Now look at that, high speed flash. And a the shutter speed was a 500th of a second and it came out perfectly exposed. Now look, he's got a hat and normally when the sun's up quite high, and it is in this country in June now, when the sun's out, but no sun today, you get a big, big shadow under the hat. And at a wedding, all the ladies have got these hats, especially the one with these holes, you get terrible dots all over their face, you wedding photographers, have you ever seen that effect? <laughs> you fill in their face with a flash and it gets rid of all those nasty shadows and that has worked on Ken, the 500th of a second with high speed flash using that correct flash gun. Well there we are, I've got to give it back sometime but I thought I'd give you a little rundown on how it works. And it doesn't work with all Canon EOS cameras, it only works with certain ones. It doesn't work with the Canon EOS 1000 FN, it doesn't have high speed flash capability, but you've got to know which camera has and the right flash gun to do it. So there we are folks, a little quick rundown on that and hope to see you again if I can switch this off.